हेलो लेडीज़ एंड जेंटलमैन एंड माय डियर चिल्ड्रन पीस ग्रीटिंग्स टू यू आई एम सैयद जफ़र महमूद फ्रॉम न्यू दिल्ली टुडे इज़ नाइन्थ ऑफ जनवरी 2023 टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑब्लिगेशंस टुवर्ड्स द एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली एज पर mandate in the faith and i have purposefully given the title as appeasing the relatives my dear listeners a few years ago an elderly lady in my extended family had left for her eternal abode may god bless her in paradise and may god bless all others gone by during the condolence sessions it came to light that her son is highly technically qualified and worked in the gulf at monthly salary equivalent to half a million indian rupees as the mother began falling frequently ill he requested his wife to shift to new delhi permanently stay with mother and serve her the good wife happily agreed and shifted base in due course as mother began remaining regularly unwell the son quit his lucrative job in the gulf took up a not so good position in the national capital region and both of them started living full time with mother he noticed that due to mother's aching knees she was not able to climb up while she liked to sit in the winter sun on the roof he carved out space in a corner of the house and got an elevator installed lo and behold even in the 21st century there are some persons in the world who discern god's real purpose behind creating the humanity and act thereupon one feels like envying the parental upbringing of this young couple the boy and his wife were actually implementing god's command in letter and spirit that is to say in the best way possible do good to your parents and the relatives holy quran 4.36 dear friends while the significance of serving the parents is generally well known let us try to understand what god has enjoined upon us in respect of our extended family in order to describe the relatives god has used two types of terms in the quran arham and aqrabun and other derivatives of the three letter arabic root q r b like urba aqrabin and maqraba the word arham 
is plural of rahm that is the chamber in the mother's sacrosanct body in which the human fetus gestates but as a collective noun arham has been used to describe one's extended family comprising all the relatives both through birth and matrimony as per divine instruction each one of us has to continuously and duly discharge the obligations of kinship quran e kareem 4.1 molana abdul majid daryabadi writes in his tafsir e majidi that according to the divine law that is sharia the extended kinship group is the basic unit of society as per prophetic tradition hanging from the celestial throne the womb supplicates god to bless those who augment it and censure those who frustrate its centrifugal aspirations commentators mutually agree that patronizing the relatives is a fundamental obligation of faith that is wajib and to deliberately disregard them is sacrilegious friends each individual is under divine surveillance the prophet peace be upon him also exhorted that even if the other fellow tries to sabotage the relationship bond one should still stick on unilaterally the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam declared whosoever wishes augmentation of provisions and elongation of life period he or she must indulge in obliging and appeasing the relatives this is known as sila rahmi hazrat abu huraira razi allah anhu complained that i try to strengthen the bonding while some of the relatives frustrate my efforts the prophet peace be upon him told him that till he does that an angel would remain deployed by his side god desires us to keep reminding the society about such injunctions of shariat also god cautions us that the relatives deserve our attention on priority vis-a-vis 
the other members of the society. According to Tafimul Quran, any act of charity that is done ignoring and superseding the needy relatives does not squarely measure up to the divine reckoning. Dear friends and children, there is a special mention in the Holy Quran regarding helping the relatives who are orphan that commands greater reward. And this is covered under the Arabic epithet in the book Yatiman Za Makraba, Holy Quran 90.15. We have been forewarned that going against these heavenly writs may tantamount to fiddling with the mandated framework leading to societal upheaval and God detests and deprecates such assailants of his design. Tafhimul Quran says that this verse that is 47.22 and lists Ata Rahmi that is cutting off a natural relationship among the fundamental prohibitions that is Haram. Conversely, Sila Rahmi has been bracketed among the best deeds, that is Amal Saleh, 2.177 and 4.36. According to the commentators, all the relatives distant and close of an individual constitute what is known as Zavil Arham. For special consideration of this group, God has used the term Al Mawaddata Fil Qurba 42.23. Closer the relationship, more intense is the obligation and bigger is the sin for pausing or for laying off the relationship. As per divine scheme, Zavil Arham has been made internally self-sufficient. My dear children and friends, in a kaleidoscope turning around the cylinder in a circular motion shows different designs and color combinations. Similar is the internal mechanism of Zavil Arham. In the group of relatives, some are very rich, some very poor, some at the threshold, some very learned, some illiterate, but the group as a whole is internally self-reliant. God keeps a tab 
on every group member as to his or her behavior with the other members friends our creators minimum expectation from us under sila rahmi is to not avoid what best one is capable of doing for the fellow group members sila rahmi has been declared as the right of the needy relatives in the assets and capabilities of the better off members of zawil arham 17.26 and 30.38 and mind you god may sometimes even turn around the kaleidoscope of zawil arham and thereafter the red color may begin looking white and the white as pink etc qata rahmi is ill treatment with the relatives and it includes deliberately not doing what best one is capable of doing with the relatives god enjoins upon us not to be spent thrift and not squander away our wealth and income and instead discharge the obligations of the needy relatives 17.26 ladies and gentlemen and my dear friends god has also put a caveat that even in order to favor the relatives nothing should be done in violation of the divine law that is sharia otherwise on the day of judgment relatives too would not be of help 60.3 we are expected to remain on the side of justice even though it goes against ourselves our parents or any other relatives be she or he rich or poor god warrants obedience in supersession of the interests of such persons we need not let our desires have the upper hand vis a vis the divinely mandated straight path we should rather fulfill the promise that we have made to the creator God has guided the prophet peace be upon him say to the people i do not ask from you for any compensation for guiding you to the right path except that you value the natural relationships the scriptural research done by the famous commentator hazrat ashraf ali thani radhiyallahu anhu tells us that patronizing the relatives 
amounts to pure observance of faith that is iman may god bless all of us with the motivation to keep acting as per his mandate i mean